audience. Where am I? That's my audience right there. As I, Jessica, her husband SpongeBob, Twinkie, and his husband Costello. So what computer is right for you? Finding a computer to fit your needs may be more difficult than you may realize. You can't decide on a computer based on price alone. There are good computers that are cheap and worthless computers that can be very expensive. Finding the perfect computer for yourself depends on your personal budget, then on what you're going to be using it for. After we know the price range and the purpose, we can better decide what hardware and software is most important and how fast your computer needs to be. Computers are one of the most important pieces of technology in our world today. Without computers, we would not have anything else that we're using used to using every day. I work for HP, which is the largest technology company in the world, and it wasn't until I started working there that I realized the magnitude of what computers are used for. They're mostly used for business purposes, but are incre increasingly in more demand for personal use. They make your life much easier and save time and money when used properly. The problem is that many people don't understand the difference between a business computer and a personal computer. And when they buy a computer, they end up spending a lot more money than they needed to. Today, I hope you understand what to look for when you are buying a personal computer. The first topic I want to discuss is that price doesn't matter. A high price of a Mac doesn't mean it's better for you than the much cheaper PC. A cheap Acer can be just as good as a more expensive Dell. Acer and Dell are the second and third largest computer manufacturers in the world by market share. Dell was number two until late last year when it was taken by Acer. Dell pins its problems on the increased cost of components and on declining corporate sales. Acer aims to be number one. I was once told that computers are like spaghetti. When we decide to go out to eat spaghetti, we don't go to where the spaghetti is most expensive. It all tastes the same. It's all made of the same components. We go where the customer service is the best. The second topic I want to discuss is what hardware, software, software, processor speed, and memory are. Hardware, software, software, processor speed, and memory are basically prerequisites for what you're going to use your computer for. They are known as system requirements. FreeDictionary.com says hardware is the equipment directly involved in the performance of data processing. Dictionary.com says the software is the programs that are used to direct the operations of a computer and instruct the computer how to use them. Processor, processor speed is a requirement that has to be met for the computer system to run properly. TechTerms.com uh, states that memory can refer to data storage but is normally refers to as RAM or random access memory. This RAM allows your computer to access system functions since these event handlers are all loaded there. Last uh, would be making your final decision. Um, here we got a laptop and a desktop. There are there is a huge difference in portability. If you travel a lot and want to use it for business, on the road, or if you're a student in need of a computer to take to and from the library and class, a portable laptop is a choice for you. If you are using your computer for bill pay, checking emails, and printing pictures and documents, the stationary desktop is a more sensible purchase. Now the comparison between uh, memory and extras. Um, in this case I'm talking about memory as in hard drive memory. Um, the desktop has a 750 gig hard drive, the laptop has a 500 gig hard drive. Uh, most of the time you can't get a, much more than a 500 gig hard drive with a laptop. Um, 750 is becoming standard in desktop, so it depends on how much data you're going to be saving on your computer. Now another thing is uh, you want your computer linked to a printer. And if you do, is it a, is it a wireless printer or, or one that you're going to wire in with a cable? Both of these computers have wireless uh, built-in Wi-Fi, which you can connect to a wireless printer. Uh, do you need wireless uh, internet capabilities? That's another thing to look for um, for Wi-Fi. Uh, both of these have wireless internet uh, capabilities, so I can set my desktop even anywhere, and and I won't have to worry about running wires to be able to connect to the internet. Will you use it for video chat? Um, if so, you'll want one that has a built-in microphone. Both of these have built-in 
uh, microphones and, and video cameras. Um, all of these things should be considered when buying a computer. In closing, I'd like to remind you that just because the computers you're looking for have a sticker price on them, it doesn't mean that's the lowest price the retailer will sell it for. Most of the time, the retailer will take at least 10% off the sticker price. Yes, they do this at Best Buy, Walmart, and many other retailers. Um, just for for uh, comparison, this one here I actually paid sticker price for. It was it was uh, right at fifteen hundred dollars. This one here was uh, the last one on the shelf, and I got it for four hundred dollars. Um, all you have to do to see if you get these deals is is to ask. Thank you.